So what else is new? Some small things. Whenever you started a measurement plan, I close everything. Let's open this one one more time. You can imagine that sometimes it's necessary to start a cure and selection. And after you started the cure and selection, the cure and selection is still selected. <laughs> That's a new function. It's a, a small thing. As well as two new general tolerance classes, tolerance, tolerances. One is called the uh, ISO <coughs> 6930 for stamp, for stamped parts. And the other new one is the 8062 for casting parts. Cool. I also want to show you another small thing. Whenever you start a um, program behind your printout header data where you can edit your part number and what else and some out, you also have the user now. The user became an a uh, default header parameter. We have some new header variables. I will show you in a second when we talk about the editor. And one is a user. So we do not have to define a new user inside the user fields dot any file. So we really we have a real user now and that's why you can select the user here and Calypso will automatically automatically jump from the user master, we can do it quick, to the other user, or you jump back to master like this and you do not have to shut down and restart uh, Calypso. And also the user setting behind extras, setting user, so here the profile changed a little bit. So these are header variables now and if they are edited here you can display them in the reporting as well. Another small thing is that you can work with eight decimal places now because of the CMMs with the high accuracy, the length, no, not the length unit here it is in total eight, eight decimal places after the comma if necessary. 